All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Giving all honor, glory, and praise to the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, being Yahweh, Bahashem, meaning in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel. Starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel, and Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as you Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to. But our Israelites, and I also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. All right, so coming to you with another lesson uh, inspired uh, by the Holy Spirit, Harakak And, uh, you know, uh, pretty much in this lesson, you know, I have a few precepts. I didn't really know what I want to uh, go into specifically, but I just kind of, you know, know the spirit that the Lord had put me in. And, um... Pretty much, man, you know, we we need, man, so much mercy from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Like, we need so much mercy for the things that we've committed. Just even in this life alone, you know, uh, you'll go through time periods where the Lord will, uh, just out of nowhere, he'll, he'll remind you of the things that you've done, you know, uh, to, to keep you humble, remind you of the sins that you committed, uh, put you in that broken spirit so that, uh, you remain humble and meek and, and remember not only that you need mercy, but to also have mercy, man. Men that are going to be believing in Yah, Bashim, Yah, Washai, calling upon the names, praying unto the Lord, seeking salvation. All right, we're, uh, men are going to come from all types of backgrounds, done all types of things, and so on and so forth. And is going to truly just be seeking the mercy of Yah, Bashim, Yah, Washai, feeling broken for the things that they've done. So, hey, man, you know, we, we have to keep these things in mind, man. All right, so, uh, you know, I'm going to just go through the Spirit, whatever the Spirit brings out, you know, uh, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Be ye not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. But check this out, verse 11. And such were some of you. So men that are going to come into this faith and truly believe in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, they're going to fall in this list, man. Of all these things, man, and more. All right. So we have to keep this in mind, man. And such were some of you. So remember, as, as King David said, well, I'm going to finish this off. It says, uh, and such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and, and by the spirit of our power, Yahweh. So that's right, man. So we were we were these things, man. As it says in the book of Ephesians, the second chapter. And another point, man, that I wanted to make through the spirit, man, there's certain things that uh, you, uh, we might have gone through, you know, uh, growing up throughout whatever the case may be, man. Certain experiences that you've been through, you know, certain uh, sins that you've committed, man. And the Lord allowed us to do certain of those things, man. All right. He allowed us to do certain of those things that when we come into this faith, that that appointed time that the Lord decided to wake us up to this knowledge, to call us unto him, man. All right. That our sins would ever be before us and that will keep us in a contrite and broken spirit, man. Because if you think that you haven't done anything, if you think that uh, uh, you're worthy of this knowledge, man, if you think that you're worthy to inherit the kingdom of the most high to be a joint heir, man. If you think that you're truly worthy of that because of your works, man, hey, uh, that's the spirit because uh, the brother Mathathia had mentioned this last night, man. You're in the wrong spirit, man. All right? We aren't worthy of this, man. Yahweh Shai is going to grant us uh, joint rulership over everything or alongside with him, man. Knowing the filth that we've been in, man, the abominations that we've committed, man. Yet, Yahweh Shai is going to have mercy upon us, man. And this is what we're fighting for. This is why we got to go hard in this truth, man. This is for our salvation, you know? Hey, I, I can say for myself, man, I know the shit that I've done. 
in 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 this life alone. I not even counting past lives, man. I I I I'll go back to a quote that uh, Elder Yaki has said in Chicago, man, and this always stuck with me. You know, people out here they always complain. They say, you know, I don't. Uh, why is this happening to me? And this and that and the third. Why am I going through this? But man, we gotta have that. What? Hey, it's it's not about why you're going through the things that you're going through that may be rough, man. But man, look, man, why did the Lord call us into this knowledge, knowing that all the business that we've done, man, all the abominations, man. <laughs> and the only answer to that is because of his mercy, man. It's not because of anything that we've done, but it's according to the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Shad, man. We are gonna make it up out of here through the mercy of the Lord. Because what? We're gonna have faith in Yahweh Bashem Shad, man. And faith is a gift, not of yourselves, lest any man should boast. Alright? So this isn't of us, man. We are solely at the mercies of Yahweh Bashem Shad, man. And that's why coming up through the Spirit in this Day of Atonement, man, we have to make sure that we reflect on these things, man. Reflect and really have, really know that we need the mercies of the Lord. If the Lord doesn't forgive us for certain things, man, if He doesn't forgive us for our sins, we are through. And the Lord doesn't have to forgive us for our iniquities, man. Let me uh, grab this, uh, this other precept real quick, and I'm going to just bring these precepts out through the Spirit. All right, Lord's will. I don't mean to ramble or anything. But uh, Tobit chapter 13 and verse uh, 6, it says, If you turn to him with your whole heart and with your whole mind and deal uprightly before him, then will he turn unto you and will not hide his face from you. Therefore, so we got to be turning to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai with all we got, man. And what's going to help us turn into Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai with everything that we have is our sins being ever before us, man. Us really... As the scripture says, man, our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. Us recognizing that we are not worthy, man. <laughs> but what are we going to do? We know we aren't worthy, so what are we going to do, man? We're going to fight. We're going to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and pray and hope that he has mercy upon us and continually shows us mercy because he's showing us mercy now by giving us this knowledge, man. This is a shot. This mercy he hasn't even extended unto all Israel uh, uh, to, uh, to believe, man. All right? He hasn't extended unto the whole nation of Israel to believe in him, man. So what do we have to do as it says in Revelations, man? Hold that fast which thou hast. What does that mean? That faith. So he's given us the faith to believe in him, which he hasn't given unto everybody, every Israelite. So we have to hold that fast. We have to hold it with all we got. This is it. If we don't have this faith, if we don't have the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and we are the mum, meaning through, all right? It says, therefore, see what he will do with you and confess him with your whole mouth and praise the Lord of might and extol the everlasting king and the land of my captivity. Do I praise him and declare his might and majesty to a sinful nation? O ye sinners, turn and do justice before him. Who can tell if he will accept you and have mercy on you? So said, who can tell, man? Who knows if the Lord will have mercy, man? We do not know, I can't say that I am of the elect, man. I can't say that uh, I know for sure this. I believe, hey, and this is all through the Spirit, because me and the brothers were having uh, a similar conversation through the Spirit last night. I believe that the men, you know, that I labor with, you know, the men that I've been on the battlefield with, videos that I watch from uh, uh, men, you know, I believe that those men are the elect, man. But I can't say myself am of the elect. I hope to be. We are of the hopeful elect, man. You know, we hope to be so who can tell if the Lord will have mercy on us, man, if he will accept us, man. It tells you in Romans, the ninth chapter, that the, that the Lord will have mercy upon whom he will have mercy and he will have compassion upon whom he will have compassion. So it's all according to calling and election, man, not of works, not of anything. But if the Lord has chosen you and if the Lord has chosen us, then what? We are going to show forth our faith that he's given us through our works, man. So, of course, you can you can uh, discern through the spirit. You see men of the Lord doing what is said that the men of the Lord would be doing. So I can say, like, hey, I believe that's the brother of the elect. I can say that, man. But we're hoping to be of that number. But the point being is that, hey, the Lord doesn't have to have mercy, man. And that's the balance that we have to have, man. All right, understanding that look, man. Like the brother uh, Ben Yum-Yum, the elder Ben, uh, ben Yum, Yum up in uh, Mississippi, man. He had made this point while we were talking to him last night. He was like, hey, man, you know, in this uh, day of atonement, man, you know, really, really pray that the Lord forgives us for our sins because he does not have to forgive us for our iniquities, man. 
He does not have to forgive us for the things that we've done. All right. We have to keep these things in mind, man, because it keeps us in a humble spirit, man. So let me go back to this. Well, I'm going to jump to uh, the book of Psalms real quick. The 51st chapter and Lord willing, I jump back to that in Ephesians, the second chapter. All right. This is Psalms 51 and one. It says, have mercy upon me. O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. And this is what we ought to be seeking for, man. The Lord to blot out our transgressions, man. The Lord to not even bring up our sins, man. To be justified by Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah through the blood of the Lamb, Yahweh Shai. This is what we are fighting for. We're fighting for the tender mercies of uh, uh, David, man. The same mercies that King David got, man. We're fighting for that, all right? This prayer is after King David had committed adultery and he murdered a man, you know? He, 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 uh, he was worthy unto death. Just like what? We are worthy unto death, all right? <laughs> We are worthy unto death in a, bru a brutal chastisement from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. We are worthy to have judgment without mercy placed upon us, man. Just how the Lord is going to do with two-thirds of our people who are, are not in that broken spirit, who don't want to repent, man. Who don't value the mercies of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Who think that they don't need the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Think that they cool out here, man. The Lord is going to judge our people severely, man. But what we're fighting for that mercy because we recognize uh, that our, uh, that we aren't worthy of this, man. Psalms 51 and 1, have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy father, or Salaki, the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. And that's what the Lord wants us to do, man. We go off, man. We're supposed to acknowledge our transgressions, man. All right? We're supposed to recognize, like, man, I fucked up, man. All right? It's certain things, man, that you, you try and suppress, like, damn, I, I, that you did back in the world. You try and suppress it, like, I, I, like you ain't even do it, man. But nah, we are guilty. All right? We are guilty. We are worthy of the punishment, man. And when you sit there and you cry unto the Lord, man, you like, Lord, I, I know I did this. I know I did that. And then you sit there and recognize, like, I need forgiveness for that, man. I need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to forgive me for all these things. The things that I commit daily, man. We need that forgiveness. It's not like we just, uh, we just want forgiveness. No, we need it. We have to have that to make it up out of here. The mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, this is uh, just a quick precept in the book of Jeremiah. I'm going to just read it out of my scripts. This is Jeremiah chapter... Uh, uh, three, oh, I could pull it up. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter three and verse 12. Man. All right, I'm going uh, I'm gonna start at verse, uh, eight. Man, ah, uh, Salakia. I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, The Lord Yahweh said also unto me in the days of Josiah the king, Hast thou seen that which the backsliding Israel hath done? She is gone up upon every high mountain and under every green tree, and there hath played the harlot. So the Lord looks at us as his woman, man. All right, he looks at us as his uh, wife. And he looks at us as a wife that's committed adultery, that was hopping from rod to rod. Like I've used this example before. And it goes into this in Ezekiel, the 16th chapter, all right? But uh, nevertheless, imagine you you in love with a woman, you know? You you care about her a lot. That's your boo. You know, you 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 willing to give her the world or whatever the case may be, right? And imagine this chick. She's texting all types of other niggas, you know? Not only that, man, she goes and does a porno, all right? All over film. You know what I'm saying? Getting gang banged on camera. But that's your woman, man. That you love. All right? <laughs> that's how the Lord likened unto us, man. And the Lord gets graphic in the scriptures with it, man. I believe it's Ezekiel, the, the, the 20, uh, maybe the 23rd chapter as well, you know, which kind of parallels with Ezekiel, the 16th chapter. But the Lord goes into detail, man, and curses our asses out because that's how he looks at what we've done when we went to go serve these other gods, man. All right, when we didn't want to be obedient unto him, man. So this isn't some light 
some light uh, uh, offenses that we've uh, done, man. We've offended greatly. We've transgressed greatly in the eyes of Yah Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. So what? We need great mercies, man. A chick that's done all those things. She did the porno. She was all on, on camera, you know, multiple dudes in her. Everything like that. Here it is. The man, he's still trying to take care of her. He's just telling her to come back and this and that and the third. And she's still not having it, man. All right. You, you done bought her lingerie and everything. She going into another nigga crib to wear the lingerie, doing the show for him, dancing for him, man. You know how that would make you feel, you know, as a man, you know, just keeping it up front. And that's how the Lord feels, man. So what do you think, you know, uh, would you have mercy on that woman? <laughs> You know, she comes back, she's like, oh, I'm sorry and everything like that, man. Would you want to have mercy upon her? But what? The Lord is looking to have mercy upon us in the same light, man. All right? But this is uh, Jeremiah chapter, uh, let me see. Uh, I'm going to start at uh, the top, Jeremiah 3 and 1, just to get this point out. They say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly uh, polluted? Yeah, so here it is. She done did all that stuff. You done tried to be with her. Then you finally put her away. And then she wants to cry back unto you. She done been with all types of dudes, man. But it says that what? Shall he return to her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? Yeah, meaning all types of rods and been in her. But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Yet return again to me, said the Lord Yahweh. So the Lord is looking for us to return into him, man. All right. This is uh, jumping down. Jeremiah chapter 3. In verse, uh, <coughs> Jeremiah chapter 3, in verse uh, 7, it says, And I said, After she had done all these things, turn thou unto me. But she returned not, and her treacherous, and her treacherous sister Judah saw it. And I saw when, when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I had put her away, and given her a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister, Judah, feared not, but went and played the harlot also. And it came to pass through the lightness of her whoredom that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and with stocks. All right, our people serving other gods, man. It says, verse 10, And yet for all this her treacherous sister, Judah, hath not turned unto me with her whole heart, but faintly saith the Lord, Yahweh. And that's right, because uh, uh, the because uh, Israel, speaking of the northern kingdom, they were committing these abominations and the Lord put Israel away first, man. The northern kingdom away first, all right? But then what? Uh, the southern kingdom, all right, he allowed uh, the southern kingdom to stay in the land. But even after the, Lord, after the southern kingdom, seeing how the Lord judged the northern kingdom, it said that what? That Judah, being the southern kingdom, did worse, man. So that's all that's going into. Verse 12, it says, Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord Yahweh, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith the Lord Yahweh, and I will not keep anger forever. All right? Only acknowledge thine iniquity. And this is truly the point that I wanted to grab, but this is all through the Spirit. But it says what? Only acknowledge thine iniquity. So we got to confess our faults unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. We can't walk around and act like we ain't commit these abominations, man. We can't go around and act like we weren't them same niggas, man. The same niggas we curse out, man, is the same niggas that we were at one point. But does that mean we aren't to curse them out? Nah, man. We are still to curse Jake out, man. All right, because what? We need to get our ass cursed out to get right, man. To really to really uh, 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 feel uh, how the Lord felt to an extent, man. Of course, we won't completely feel that way. But to, to, uh, to, to see, to take it seriously, man. Like, when you talk to Jake, you know, like, they doing these churches, like, oh, everything's all right. Yeah, you did this and that, but it ain't all right. Eh, you know, ain't no force in that, man. You don't really feel that. Yo, that vibration, it's like, oh, the Lord's just going to have mercy. It's all cool. Nah, man. It ain't like that, man. The Lord don't have to have mercy. The Lord is pissed the hell off, man, at what we've done, man. He's pissed the fuck off, all right? So what? We need mercy. And the Lord has already extended us uh, 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 some of that mercy, by what? Giving us his truth. Giving us the opportunity to return unto him, man. And, to, uh, and for our transgressions to be all blotted out and forgotten and not even mentioned unto us. This is what we're fighting for, man. Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord Yahweh thy power. And hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord Yahweh. So the Lord's like, look, 
I'm going to cut you a deal. All right, you did all this and that in the third. Check this out. You know, I saw I saw the, the, the video you did with them niggas. You know, going back to the analogy, I saw that porno you did with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? I, I saw the filth that you were doing. You was texting the old dude over here. You was sleeping with the old dude over there. All right, I'm going to give you one last chance, all right? You return from your iniquities, all right? You, 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 you quit doing those abominations, and in this sense, in this sense, what does he want us to do? Have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Have faith in his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, through what? Faith in this doctrine, because the Lord is this doctrine. It says that the word was made flesh. All right? So the Lord is uh, shown forth through, through these words, through this doctrine. He's like, look, you believe on me, hold fast into that faith until the end. Hey, I'm going to forget all of that. That video that you did, I ain't even going to mention it to you. I ain't even going to think about it, man. The abominations that you did, it won't even be brought up, all right? It's going to be like it never even happened, man. We're going to live happily ever after. So this is what we are truly seeking for, man. All the bullshit that we've done to be blotted out, all right? So jumping uh, jumping back to this in the book of uh, uh, Psalms chapter 51 and verse 3, it says, For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. So acknowledge that you did those things, man. Confess it unto the Lord. Cry out unto the Lord, man. We coming into the day of atonement, man. You know, uh, it's time. It's time to, to really uh, uh, seek the face of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and beg and cry out for those mercies, man, that we need. Okay, it says against thee, verse four, against thee, the only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity and in sin I. In sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. So the Lord, we need the Lord to cleanse us from these iniquities, man. All right? Here it is, going back to the analogy, that woman did all those things, man. But what is the Lord going to do with us, man? What is he doing with us, should I say? Because we're going through this process now. Being purified. Being cleansed. All right. Do what? Taking heed unto this word. It says in the book of Psalms. 119 or is it 69, 64? Okay, come on. Psalms 119 to 9. It says, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. So the Lord is cleansing us by what? By this word and us taking heed unto it, man. Because the scripture says that the Lord. Uh, in the book of Revelations, it talks about the virgins, all right? <laughs> it talks about the, the, the clean virgins, man, meaning it's talking about the men that aren't defiled with the philosophies of this world. But at one point, we were in this world, man. We were serving, we were serving Jesus and all this stuff, man, out of ignorance, you know? We were doing these things, man. You know what I'm saying? But what? Once we, got, we get this knowledge, man, and we, we turn into Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, He cleanses us by us taking heed into the Word, man, all right? So going back in the book of Psalms, chapter 51 and verse 7, it says, Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out mine, all mine iniquities. So this is what we want, man. We don't want any of these things to be brought up. We want to act like it didn't happen. <laughs> all right. I want to go into the kingdom. Yeah, all that's forgotten, man. But right now, what we got to bear that shame. We got to bear that sorrow for the things that we've done, man. And that's pleasing in the sight of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Us being broken. Us being like, shit, I did all this, man. I'm not worthy of this, man. You know? That's the spirit that the Lord wants us to be in, man. It says, uh, verse 10, creating me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renewing me. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit uh, from me. So this is what we need, man. We need Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, to cleanse us, man. And ultimately for him to not take his Holy Spirit away from us, man. Because he takes his Holy Spirit away from us, man. That means we ain't got the breath. All right, and Israel, Israel, all right, Jake, Israelites that just have the flesh. Meaning that they know that they're Israelites, but they don't have the breath. They ain't making it into the chariots, man. All right. The breath being a uh, harakakudash, uh, man. The Holy Spirit. We got to have that, man. All right? So we don't want to fall under that same example, man. We want to make sure that we stay meek and humble, man. Because the scripture says that the Lord resists the proud, man. And pride is an abomination uh, to the Most High, man. 
And it also says in the book of Sirach, the 10th chapter, that pride is the beginning of uh, when uh, men uh, become separated from their creator. Roughly paraphrasing. All right, if I'm not mistaken, it might be, uh, that, that might be uh, Sirach, the 10th chapter. Well, let me just confirm. All right, Sirach chapter 10 and verse 12, it says, reading it out of my scriptures here, it says, The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High and his heart is turned away from his maker. So uh, uh, us walking in pride, man, that will cause the Lord to take away his Holy Spirit away from us, man. Once again, he resisted the proud. So keeping our sins before us, reflecting on these things, man, remaining meek and humble and knowing that we aren't worthy, knowing of the filth that we've done and that we need great mercy, that's going to keep us from being proud, man. All right, that's going to uh, uh, keep the Lord uh, wanting to, uh, uh, to to draw nigh unto us as we're drawing nigh unto him, unto him, being meek and humble, man. So I'm going to finish off with these uh, last precepts, all right? I mentioned I was going back to Ephesians, the second chapter. So Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past you walked according to the courts of this world, according to the prince of the power, the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So the same spirit that was in these, the, these uh, 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 niggas that was out here, all right? The niggas that, uh, that's out here today, man. We were those same niggas, man. That same spirit was working within us, man. But the Lord woke us up from that estate. All right. Going back into that Corinthians that uh, started off with through the spirit. It talked about adulterers, you know, adulterers, man, uh, extortioners, thieves, gave a list of a uh, uh, a list of things, man. We were those things at one point, man. But what? We were made clean through what? Yahweh shot. We are now justified through Yahweh shot if we endure to the end, if we be those men. That's why it says in Psalms, the 32nd chapter, man, blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, man, whose sins are covered. Let you know that that's not going to apply to everybody, man. That's applying it to the elect. So it's a blessing to be of that number, man, whose sins are forgotten, whose transgressions are forgiven, man. And a sign that we may be a part of that number is the Lord giving us this knowledge, man. And we just got to fight and continue to, uh, to, to grow with it, all right? It says... Uh, Verse three, among whom also we all had our conversation. So this doesn't exempt anybody, man. We all had our conversation, our conduct, likewise to the men of this world, man. You know, now you got brothers that got different particular backgrounds and everything like that. But at the end of the day, we weren't serving y'all by some y'all was shy, man. All right. You know, so hey, we were all we were all under this category, man. The same spirit that was in these niggas. All right, that the Lord is going to destroy, man, that same spirit was in us, man, and we were allotted for destruction, man. But what? The Lord called us out of that. He quickened us, man. It says, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past and the lust of, the, of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But the Most High, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even we were when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Hamashiach. By grace ye are saved, and, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places, and Hamashiach, yeah, how was shy. So who are we, man, that the Lord will bestow this great love upon us, man? You know, going back into uh, uh, how King David responded, man. When the Lord told King David of the blessings that he was going to give him, man, you know, be a, be a man, being a king for eternity in the kingdom of heaven, man. The, the savior will come through his loins, man. All these things, man. Hey, uh, it's like, who am I that I should deserve those things, man? But let the Lord's will be done, man. So, what are we gonna do, man? Who are we to receive this knowledge? But shoot, we're gonna fight, man. The Lord gave us to it. What are we gonna do with it? We're gonna fight. We're going to fight for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine to the end. And we're going to bear the indignation of the Lord. Whatever he allows us to go through, we're going to take it, man. Because we aren't worthy of this anyways. You know? We aren't worthy of this anyways, man. Whatever the Lord takes us through, man, we're going to take it and we're going to keep fighting for the Lord, man. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, man. And he punishes us less than our iniquities deserve anyways, man. And he punishes us with mercy. All right? So, hey, man, we, <laughs> we don't have no choice but to fight, man. It says, but the Most High who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us. Uh, Salaki, verse 7, it says, verse 6, and hath raised up 
us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Hamashiach Yahweh that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Hamashiach Yahweh for by grace are ye saved through faith and not of yourselves it is the gift of the most high not of works lest any man should boast so this is all the gift from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai man all right so we have nothing to boast of man all right uh these last two precepts Lord's will <clears throat> this is a uh, <coughs> This is Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 21 All right it says uh but if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he hath committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right he shall surely live he shall not die and we were the wicked, man. We were a part of uh, the wicked amongst our nation, man. All right? Because of the deeds that we were doing and so on and so forth. Now, once again, it's a call in an election. The Lord already pre preordained and predestined uh, men to be delivered, man, to receive the mercy of Yahweh Shai. So ultimately, we were doing wickedness. But what? If we be those men, man, hey, we, we perfect through the spirit, through the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. We're clean through him. We're justified by Yahweh Shai, no matter what works we may have done in the world, man. No matter what bullshit we were doing, abominations that we were doing, man. But that doesn't mean that we're going to walk in, in pride. Nah, man. We're going to walk in hope that we are those men that are going to receive that mercy that the Lord died for. That his, sin, uh, that his uh, blood was shed for, man. That our sins may be remitted. You know? We're going to walk in the meekness and humbleness, man. And give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai for it, man. And continue to serve Him. It says... Verse 22, all his transgressions that he hath committed, they shall not be mentioned unto him. In his righteousness that he hath done, he shall live. So that's right. And that's what we need, man. All the things that we've done not to even be brought up. All right. Because <laughs> we done did some shit, man. Hey, that's why, man. Hey, man, we got opportunities to, to help out the Akim. The scripture says, charity cover up the multitude of sins. We done fucked up, so hey, we need to be given as much charity what's in our ability, man. All right? Feeding the Akim, feeding the flock with this word, man. That's, hey, that's uh, uh, feeding the poor, feeding the naked through the spirit, man. All right? That's charity in itself, man. That's love. All right? <laughs> that's laying down our lives for our brethren, man, to do this work, to serve uh, uh to uh, to serve the uh, the body of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. These are all things that are gonna cause our uh, uh, that are uh, gonna be accounted for our sins to be remitted, man. Ultimately through the blood of Yahweh Shai, but we're gonna be doing these things as well, man. It says uh, in the book of uh, Acts, chapter thirteen, <coughs> verse Acts chapter thirteen and verse. <clears throat> this is Acts chapter 13 and verse 30 32 it says and we declare unto you glad tidings how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, the Most High, hath fulfilled the same unto us, their children. And that he hath raised up Yahweh Shai again, as it is also written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And as concerning that he, he raised him up from the dead, now no more to return to corruption. He said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. So the Lord is going to give us the sure mercies of David, man. All right, we just got to hold fast into our faith. Doesn't matter what shit we've done, man. Doesn't matter the things that we've committed, the things that we're broken about right now, feeling sorrowful about right now, man. And the scripture says, let not your sins weigh you down, nor your iniquities lift up themselves, man. So it's a balance, all right? It's a balance, man. The Lord allowed us to go through these things so that what? We remain meek and humble. But at the same time, man, as it says in Sirach the 14th chapter, Sirach 14 and 2, <clears throat> Sirach 14 and uh, verse 2, it says, Blessed is he whose conscience hath not condemned him, and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord. So that's right, man. 
Don't allow those things to uh, to fall. Uh, don't allow those things to to cause you to fall from your hope in the Lord, man. All right. This that's when the 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 uh, the power of the Lord is shown, man. We've messed up, but what? He's gonna reveal how great uh, mercies He has through uh, uh, delivering men like us, man. Sinners. All right. We were yet sinners, man. But the Lord delivered us out of that, man. All right? Hey, if, if man, you, you got to believe that the mercy of the Lord is great. We have to believe that, man. We have to have hope in that. That's what our hope is in, is that the mercy of the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, is great, man. And our sins are uh, will be forgiven if we hold fast and endure unto the end, man. If we endure unto the end, man. So, you know, that's all I kind of wanted to go into, man, through the Spirit. I know it was a lot. I'm going to probably end it off uh, one more time with this uh, preset. This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, the same one I started off with, all right? 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, and by the spirit of the of by the spirit of our power Yahweh. All right, so amen. That's it. Lord willing, that was edifying. I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash, giving double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, and with that, I'm gonna say shalom.